Welcome back. Political party Al Jamal says allegations against the newly elected mayor of the city of Johannesburg is unfounded. In a statement released earlier, the party has accused the DA's former mayor, Mpo Palaze, of being a sore loser. Now, to tell us more about the developments coming out uh, from the city of Johannesburg is indeed the leader of Al Jamar, Khanif Hendricks, and he joins us via our Zoom link. Uh, Khanif, uh, thank you so much for joining us here on the late edition. Of course, uh, coming out from the city of Johannesburg, we saw, uh, you know, those allegations during the rounds over the weekend uh, where the DA was giving um, the newly elected mayor 48 hours to come clean. You know, do you as Al Jamar stand by your words saying that uh, these allegations against Cabello are unfounded? Yes, it is unfounded. In fact, the allegations, uh, you know, was around... Uh, a few days before he was the preferred candidate. And uh, when these allegations emerged, uh, Al Jamar did his vetting. And uh, as you know, I serve on the Joint uh, Intelligence Committee of Parliament. I was vetted. I understand how the processes work. But we just felt we needed uh, independent vetting. So I, I asked for the African National Congress to do a vetting. They also have access to national intelligence. And then on a Thursday, uh, before the elections, I met with the Secretary General of the ANC, which personally told me that the vetting was very thorough and uh, a clean bill of health and there's nothing to worry about. Then the next morning, the Premier of the of, the, of Gauteng met the eight leaders of the political parties that provided the 139 votes, and he told them that the vetting was very thorough. They didn't want to have the same problems they had in Swani some time ago. And then some of the political leaders said they also did their vetting because they are going to give their votes to a person and they, they are accountable to their constituency. And uh, I've never seen such strong support uh, for a mayoral candidate from eight political parties. It has never, never happened before in South Africa. Mm. And how confident are you um, that uh, the new mayor in Johannesburg will not be linked to any wrongdoing? You have said that as Al Jamal, you've done your own vetting. You even went as far as reaching out to the ANC. You know, uh, Mpopalat and the DA say that these are very strong allegations and they have people uh, who have come to them with this information. How confident are you that, uh, you know, he will not be linked to any uh, sort of scandal here? Look, I'm very confident. I even spoke to his mother, Ma uh, Rosemary. I spoke to her for quite some time and she gave me uh, the assurance. She told me how he was brought up as a, as, as, a, as a young toddler, as a teenager, as a university, as a student, as a uh, husband. And we are dealing here with a person of high integrity, a person that has served good causes, a person that is very faithful to his religion, which is Christianity. And uh, I was convinced by his mom, although mom will always be well of their sons, I was convinced that the mom verified what the Secretary General of the ANC told us, what the Premier told us, and what our own vetting does. Now, what more must we do? Uh, now you have these allegations, which is Plan B of the Democratic Alliance, because uh, they... Uh, for the second time, uh, you know, they were rejected by the residents of Jobo through the councillors. And uh, they just want to uh, disrupt uh, service delivery. They want to make the city of Jobo ungovernable so that the eight political parties who are part of this very strong collective, very united, don't do well in 2024. So it's part of the DA campaign and they've got more allegations that we are aware of. Uh, and uh, this particular one has absolutely no merits. It goes back to 2010, 2013. And uh, you must remember that the allegations arises from an area uh, largely in Soweto. And uh, that particular area in 221 uh, gave Al Zamar votes that we never knew we would get because of Councillor Capella Kwamanda. And while we normally only got one seat in the city of Jogo, we got three seats because of the tremendous support that he got in Soweto because people know him, they know the good causes he served, he's a son of Soweto. So Soweto is very proud of, uh, of, of Capello uh, Kwamanda, Aldama is very proud of him. 
the ANC uh, endorses him. The, the eight political parties endorsed him. What more do we want? So the vetting has been done. And he must now, today is his first day in office. He must get down to work. And I told him, if you spend a minute uh, addressing these false allegations, I will have hard words with you. You've got a job to do. You have, uh, you know, you, you, you've got to start uh, uh, engaging your mayor and committee members. You've got to make sure that the eight political parties, uh, that they can deliver the manifesto promises they gave to their constituencies. So you've got a big job and you don't waste your time on the rubbish that the DA is peddling. They are peddlers. They look for dirt instead of keeping us to account with the work we have to do in the city. They now back, go back to 2010. Someone gave uh, uh, Dr. Palacci a file. Uh, she's used to getting the roses and chocolates, uh, but they gave her a file this okay. time. Uh, so we are, you know, we are not being pressed at all about they are doing. Mm. And Mr. Hendricks, just my last question to you as you uh, try and sort out that line over there. Will you, uh, as the party, be taking any uh, legal, uh, you know, route in terms of the allegations which were leveled against uh, your member? Will you be uh, taking uh, the action against uh, the, the Democratic Alliance? No, we won't, except that I did write to uh, 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 Alan Ziller about it. And uh, we. this is part of politicking. We are, if, he, if the president announced the election date, we could have used the, uh, the election code of conduct. You know that uh, people uh, 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 sign a pledge. Uh, that hasn't been done yet. So it's free for all. And the DA, you know, like any political party, they okay. get up to their dirty tricks. All right, uh, but that will stop when the president announces the election date and we sign a code of conduct. All right, then. Thank you very much. That is indeed Hanif Hendricks, uh, the president of Al Jama, just clarifying uh, some of those allegations that came to the fore over the weekend in regards to the new Johannesburg mayor.